there's a bunch of um, new cases up around like Hayward or something like that. What cases? Really, really, some a lot of people getting uh, getting the, getting, <coughs> getting sick from COVID. <coughs> Sometimes he was somewhere in Castro Valley. How's everybody this morning? Oh, we're Good. fine. I'm fine. That's very good. Yeah, fine. that's why I'm sitting here. I'm fine. All right. <laughs> Again, my name is Diallo. Welcome to our exercise of the day. Uh -oh. For all of you at home, welcome. It's a beautiful day outside, a lot cooler than it has been. Yesterday was about 100. Today it's about 65. Yeah. So huge difference. I love it. <laughs> all, all right. So we're going to start with you know, our stretches and exercise. So our first stretch, what we're going to do is we're going to lean our head to our right shoulder. Okay, so try to touch your ear to the right shoulder. And as you're doing that, I want you to take your other arm and put it to the ground. There you go. So what you're gonna feel is you're gonna feel a stretch in your neck. If you put your arm to the side here, so if you put your arm down to the side, there you go. You're gonna feel a stretch. Perfect. Now go to the other side and switch arms down to the ground. Good. So it's opposite arm, opposite ear. So we're gonna go to the other side. So your right ear is gonna to go to your right elbow and your left arm is gonna go down. Good, good, perfect. And one more on the other side, switch. Have you had a booty coming in here? Good, mm -hmm. all right. Good. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do neck head rotation. Okay. So we're going to look up and around just like this. Now, if you go too fast, you're going to get dizzy. <laughs> so what you can do to not get dizzy is actually keep your eyes open. I hear a little crack. Oh, well, it's good to hear a crack. Because <laughs> yeah. if you close your eyes, which is what you normally want to do if you're going to get dizzy when you open it back up. All right, switch sides. Good. You go as fast or as slow as you want to. That's good. The left is cracking, the right. Good. All right. Woo. I got a little dizzy right there. Close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do. So we're going to stretch out our midsection, our back a little bit. So we're going to get to the edge of our chairs. Oh. Okay, so everybody get to the edge of your chairs. You're going to make sure you spread your legs out a little bit. Oh. And all we're going to do is we're going to lean down just like this. Oh. There you go. Lean down in the middle. Perfect. Yeah, make sure you get your feet spread out so your hands can go between your feet. Try and touch the ground. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, now back up. Good. We're going to do that again. And back down. Perfect. And as we're doing this, we can work on our deep breathing as well, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through the mouth. And each time we're going to relax, okay? In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, back up. Perfect. Excellent. Everybody back to your chairs here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out the, our sides. So we're gonna lift our right arm up. We're gonna reach over ourselves. Good. Gonna reach over ourselves. Perfect. And back to the middle, switch arms. That should feel really good. You need to get your hand over your, over your head. There you go, hand over your head. Perfect. And back to the middle. Good. All right. 
Now we're getting, we're going to work on our deep breathing in just to get even more relaxed, okay? So we're going to make sure that when we breathe in through our nose, we're going to fill up our belly with air, okay? So we're going to breathe in through the nose, fill up the belly, out through the mouth. And each time you breathe out, we're going to relax more and more, okay? Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Perfect. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do shoulder shrugs, okay? So what we're going to do, put our arms down to the ground here, and we're going to sh shrug our shoulders up and forward and down. Up and down, just, just like that, okay? So ready and up. And down, that's one. Up and down, that's two. Up and down, that's three. Up and down, that's four. Up and down, that's five. Up and down, that's six. Up and down, that's seven. Up and down, that's eight. Up and down, that's nine. Up and down, that's ten. Good job. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Okay, again, we're going to make sure that we're lifting those shoulders all the way up. Try to try, uh, make your shoulders touch your ears. If you can do that, woo, got a prize for you because I can't do that. <laughs> Ready, and shoulders up and down. That's one. Up and down. That's two. Up and down. That's three. Up and down. That's four. Up. And down, that's five. Up. And down, that's six. Up. And down, that's seven. Up. And down, that's eight. Up. And down, that's nine or more. Up. And down, that's ten. Good. Excellent job. All right. Now we are going to do jumping jacks without the jumping. Okay. So it's just going to be upper body jumping jacks. So upper jacks. So arms to the side. Get them up. And clap. There you go. That's one. And up. And down. That's two. Going to clap at the top. Up. And down. That's three. Up. And down. That's four. Up. And down. That's five. Excellent. Up. And down. That's six. Good job at home. Up. And down, that's seven. Up. And down, that's eight. And up. And down, that's nine. Up. And down, that's ten. Good. Now, you know, what you can do now is you shake it out. There you go. Get those muscles loose a little bit. Good. I know it feels good. Get the shimmy shake going on. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're going to work on our deep belly breathing in between that set. So we're going to go in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Good. Now back to jumping jacks, okay? So arms to the side here. Make sure they're on the side. And again, how, how this is going to go, we're going to come up and we're going to clap at the top and back down. Okay, that's one. And up. And down, that's two. Up. Down, that's three. Up. And down, that's four. Up. And down, that's five. Up. And down, that's six. Up. And down, that's seven. Up. And down, that's eight. Up. Down, that's nine. One more. Up. And down, that's ten. Good job. How's everybody feel? Good. Excellent. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do running in place. Okay, so we get our legs loose. So you start a lower body exercise after that, okay? So what we're going to do is going to run in place. So first we're going to move our arms. And we're going to move our feet like we're running. And it's going to go like this. One, two, three, move your feet. One, two, 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 move your feet.
arm two. Move those arms. One, two, move One, two, Okay. Now, first exercise, we're going to do one leg at a time. It's going to be very straightforward here. So, we'll start with my left leg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my knee straight up. I'm going to push my foot out and back in and down. That's one, okay? So, again, lift the knee up, push the foot out, in and down. That's two. Up, out. In, down, that's three. Up, out, in, down, that's four. Up, out, in, down, that's five. Up, out, in, down, that's six. Up, out, in, down, that's seven. Up, out, in, down, that's eight. Up, out, in, down, that's nine. Up. Out, in, and down, that's 10, good. Now we're gonna to switch to our opposite leg, okay? And again, same thing, we're gonna lift that knee up, we're gonna push it out, and in, and down, that's one. Lift the knee up, out, in, down, that's two. Up, out, in, down, that's three. Up, out, in, down, that's four. Up. Out, in, down, that's five. Up, out, in, down, that's six. Up, out, in, down, that's seven. Up, out, in, down, that's eight. Up, out, in, down, that's nine. One more up, out, in, down, that's ten. Oh, I know you can feel that, right? Mm -hmm. And your hip flexors and your thighs, oh, buddy. Including the brain. Including the brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel that in your brain? Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> you feel it, huh? Feel All right. It. What's it called to do? Feel it. <laughs> now we're going to do ankle rotations, okay? Oh. So we're going to put, put the first star on the left leg. We're going to push it out. We're going to rotate those ankles just like this. Perfect. Rotate it around. Excellent. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. Great job. All right, I switch legs now. So the other right leg, I'm going to lift it up and rotate that ankle. Excellent. Keep it going. Rotate it. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. Excellent. Okay, now from there, we're gonna work on our deep breathing again, okay? So, make sure we're breathing in, we're gonna breathe in through our nose and fill up that belly, and then out through our mouth, and each time we breathe out, we're gonna relax our whole entire body, okay? And breathe in. Out. Good. In through the nose. 
out through the mouth. In through the nose, out to the mouth. Excellent. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do toe-to-heel toe touches, okay? So we're going to start off with our feet flat on the ground, and we're going to roll to our heels and onto our toes. And then roll heel and toe. And heel and toe. And heel and toe. Good. Heel and toe. And 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 and toe. One more. And heel and toe. Good. Excellent. What you do is you can shake them out. Shake it out. <laughs> All right, so we do one more set of that, okay? Everybody ready? Let's start it. Start on our heels and roll our toes. That's one. Heels, roll the toes. That's two. Heels, roll the toes. That's three. Heels, roll the toes. That's four. Heels, roll the toes. That's five. Heels, roll the toes. That's six. Heels. Roll to the toes, that's seven. Heels, roll to the toes, that's eight. Heels, roll to the toes, that's ten. Eight, nine. Heels, roll to the toes, that's ten. I skipped eight, huh? I skipped eight, nine, I don't know, I skipped a lot of stuff. Yeah. Man, that was way off right there. That's all right, you went back. All right. Now we're gonna go back to our upper body, okay? We are going to do arm circles now. So, first of arm circles, we're gonna put our arms straight out. We're gonna put our palms up to the ceiling. We're gonna rotate forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it out there. Palms to the ground. And we're gonna go backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. How's everybody feel? I feel like that. Okay. A little looser. <laughs> one more set of that. So arms out. Our palms to the ceiling. We're gonna go forward. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it out there. We're gonna put our palms to the ground. Now we're gonna go backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have lift off. Okay, great job. Now we're gonna switch it up. Go to different body, and we're going to do arm push-ups. Okay. So our arms are going to come up, and we're going to go, to, here's how this is going to go. We're going to push it up, and then down, that's one, okay? Up, down, that's two, up, down, that's three, up, down, that's four, up, down, that's five, up, eight, down, that's seven, up, down, that's eight, up. Down, that's nine, and one more up, and down, that's ten. I think I skipped a couple. <laughs> you laughing at me? Sorry. I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> All right. Do one more set of those, okay? okay? Everybody ready? And arms up. And up. And down, that's one. Up. And down, that's two. Up. And down, that's three. Up. And down, that's four. Up. And down, that's five. Up. And down, that's six. Up. And down, that's seven. Up. And down, that's eight. Up. And down, that's nine. Up. And down, that's ten. Great job. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now 
going to work on our deep breathing, okay? So we're going to, again, breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Excellent. Going back to our legs now. Okay. Now we're going to do flutter kicks with our feet and our legs. So, so how that's going to go, we're going to lift our legs straight out. And we're just going to flutter. Just like that. Okay. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. All right. One more set of that. And up. And go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent job. You like it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good for you. <laughs> Keeps you healthy. Doesn't it? That's the, that's the goal, is to keep you healthy. That's the whole goal. Ooh, my voice is cracked. I hit puberty again. Ooh, play! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was cool. All right. Now, we're going to stretch out our lower body. Okay? So, first stretch. We're going to lift left leg forward. So we can come to the edge of our seat. All right. Stay the keep the back tall. We're gonna come down and stretch and try to touch the toes. Okay. Try and touch the toes. I can. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in through our nose, out through the mouth. And each time you breathe out, you're gonna be able to stretch a little bit further. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. One more into the nose, out to the mouth. Excellent. Back up. Switch legs. All right. And down. Reach as far as you can. Again, we're going to breathe in through our nose, out to the mouth. In through the nose, out to the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Back up. Perfect. Now again, we go back to this again. We're gonna your legs as far as far as far as you can. So everybody get close to your chin up here at the edge of your seat. Okay, legs apart. And we're gonna reach down, try and touch the ground in the middle. There you go. Hold it down there. Oh. And back up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. And again, back down. Just stretch out your back. Your lower back and upper back. And back up. Great job. All right. Back to our upper body now. We're going to do our boxing. All right. So, everybody, arms up. It's like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. Bingo. We're going to start off. We're going to punch and punch. Punch, 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 punch. Switch it off arms each time. Punch, punch. Punch, follow my rhythm, punch, 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 punch. Punch, 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 
punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, punch, Ole, 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 ole. Yes, <laughs> All right. Uh, that felt good, though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. yeah. And you'd be hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> now, for our last exercise, we're going to do one set of those today. For our last exercise, we're going to do row, row, row your boats. Okay, so we're doing back and shoulder rows. So what we're gonna do, put our arms out, we're gonna row back, and we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades together. And come back around, and squeeze our shoulder blades and come back around, okay? And as we're doing it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing row, row, row your boat two times. Whoa. Everybody knows the words of this song. You ready? Oh, yeah. And go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Perfect. <coughs> you were going you were to keep on singing. Yeah, <laughs> Unless you have young version. We could open up a choir. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> No, we did that once. You did that once? No, we did that once. Somebody else. I know they did, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to do our cool down stretches. So, first stretch, we're going to put our fingers together, interlace our fingers. We're going to rotate our palms up to the sky and push our arms up. Good. Push those arms up as high as they can go. Perfect. And down. Good. And in between that set, we're going to work on our deep breathing. So again, we're going to breathe in through our nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. Good. Now again, fingers interlaced. Palms to the sky and reach up. Excellent, reach as high as you can. Reach to the sky, reach, 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 reach. Come on, reach in the sky, reach, 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 reach. And down, good. Okay, now our right arm is gonna come straight up. We're gonna lean over ourselves again. And back to the middle. Switch arms, other side. Perfect. And back to the middle. Good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to reach our arms up and we're going to lean back in our chairs and push our arms back. So we stretch out our abs and our chest and our arms. Reach those arms back as far as you can. And back to the middle. Good. And one more time, arms up and back. Reach back, reach back, reach back. And back to the middle. Woo. Great workout today, everybody. You at home, great workouts. Thanks for joining me again. My name is Diallo and you have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Thank you. All day. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello, everyone. 
Happy day to you. Again, my name is Diallo. And today, we're doing our activity again. It's called DVDs and Movies with Diallo. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I've got a bunch of movies and DVDs here. We're going to read the description, see if any of you have seen it, and go over some of the historical events surrounding the movies. Okay, so our first movie. Let's see what we got here. Drum roll, please. This movie is going to be Grumpy Old Men. Yeah, Grumpy Old Men. This stars Jack Lemon, Walter Matthau, and Anne Margaret. All pretty good actors, right? Yeah. I don't think many of them are alive anymore, but grumpy old men. Exactly. <laughs> Next door neighbors, John Gustafson and Max Goldman are grumpy old men. And since they're and since they are played by Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau. They're also funny old men. The stars of the film, The Odd Couple, pair up again in this hilarious and heartwarming story of neighborhood curmudgeons whose long-running feud become all-out rivalry, rivalry when an attractive widow, Anne Margaret, moves into the house across the street. Uh oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I've seen that. That's good. That's good. Snowy Minnesota provides the setting as Max and John unleash an uproarious blizzard of practical jokes and zingers. Burgess Meredith, Daryl Hannah, Ozzie Davis, Kevin Pollock, and Ben Henry as a star pack support to the snow pack shenanigans that will cure your blahs and jump start your heart. They're pretty fire, really. Well, hey, they're yeah, really so so Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau were in the odd couple. Right. Do you remember the odd couple? Oh yeah. I never seen that. That's okay, though. I don't remember it. Yeah, I don't remember it. All right. So our next movie will be High Noon with Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly. Ooh, that's fantastic. It's an old Western, right? Oh, yeah. You've seen it? I've only seen bits and pieces of it. So it says, Gary Cooper won the Oscar for Best Actor in this classic tale of a lawman who stands alone to defend a town of cowardly citizens against a gang of revenge-seeking criminals. In the greatest showdown in the history of cinema, Cooper stands to lose not only the town, but his wife, Grace Kelly. The film also stars one of Hollywood's most beloved and prolific actors, Lloyd Bridges, and marks the first starring role for a beautiful young actress, internationally adored screen legend, Grace Kelly. High Noon garnered a total of four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Score, and Original Song. Olé. Yeah. Olé. That's it. That's it. Okay, next movie we have, which I've never heard of. It's James Stewart in the movie Harvey. Oh yeah, Harvey is an alter ego there. Is it? Yeah. Well, let's find out who Harvey, what Harvey is. So James Stewart gives one of his finest performances in this lighthearted film based on the Pulitzer Prize winning play. Stewart stars as a good natured, as the good natured Elwood P. Dowd, whose constant companion is Harvey, a six foot tall rabbit that only he can see. Oh man. Yeah. This is really Some of that. nice. Really. <clears throat> to his sister, Betta Louise, Elwood's obsession with Harvey has been a thorn in the side of her plans to marry off her daughter. But when Betta Lewis decides to put Elwood in a mental hospital, a hilarious mix-up occurs and she finds herself committed instead. It's up to Elwood to straighten out the mess with his, ki his kindly philosophy and his imaginary friend in this popular classic that features, that features a Best Supporting Actress award-winning performance by Josephine Hull. So again, he's got an imaginary friend who's a six-foot buddy. Mm -hmm. That's so freaky, isn't it? Yeah. What could be better than that? It's, uh, a six-foot buddy is your imaginary friend? Yeah, sure. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Man. Nice buddy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So our next movie, let's see, we got, it is going to be Elvis in the Harem Strum. That just sounds bad. What the Harem Strum? Like he's just running around with the harem of women? Let's find out what Elvis is doing. Elvis. Go East, young man. Sings showbiz star and martial arts whiz Johnny Tyrone. To hear is to obey. A clandestine group called the Assassins kidnaps Johnny and whisks him to a remote Arabian realm, isolated from the world for 2,000 years. Sheik meets the Desert Sheik. <laughs> Sheik meets Desert Sheik when Elvis Presley plays Johnny and teams with former Miss America Mary Ann Mobley uh, in this tuneful frolic shot on the original 1925 Cecil B. Demel set from King of Kings and directed by movie musical veteran Gene Nelson. The kidnappers want Johnny to use his fighting finesse to kill a desert king. Johnny a hitman? No, he's a hitman. He's a hitman, a top singer of songs like Kismet, Harem Holiday, and Nine More, all part of the jamming. Swashbuckling, Fun harem scarum. <laughs> that's, oh, that's a good little that's one. A nice little that is. I might have to watch this one day. Yeah. Might have to watch this one day. Yeah. Okay, it's Elvis and the harem scarum. <laughs> okay. What we got next is Stagecoach. Anybody remember Stagecoach? So Stagecoach stars Claire Trevor and John Wayne. John Wayne. You know John Wayne? John Wayne. What time is it, Pilgrim? <laughs> All right. Again, it's called Stagecoach. All aboard for the most legendary West ride in the West. Well, hey. Nine desperate, uh, nine desperate travelers are thrust together in a perilous journey, a ride on a stagecoach destined for Apache territory and movie immortality. Events may not have turned out so Ill illustrious if director John Ford had taken the advice of little-known B actor named John Wayne. Asked to suggest someone for the lead role of a sharpshooter, Ringo Kidd, he proposed then equally unknown Lloyd Nolan Ford. Ford, however, had his own casting ideas and Wayne played Ringo, his every rifle shot. Along with Ford's magnetic use of close-up shots, bringing home the message, a new star was born. Starting alongside Wayne was Claire Trevor, Thomas Mitchell, Andy Devine, and other outstanding talents and perhaps the best their best roles ever. Famed stuntman Yakima Kanut provided hair-raising thrills and 17 American folk songs provided the inspiration for an Oscar-winning score. Here at Last, we are, Here at Last was a grown-up Western, a sharply drawn, dazzling directed film that elevated the genre above its kiddie man <laughs> manatee status and ushered in a 30-year era of top quality Westerns featuring big stars, big directors, and big themes. Ford and Wayne would create many of those enduring hits, including Ford Apache, The Searchers, and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. But it was Stagecoach that first proved this duo could just flat out outride and entertain from one generation to the next. All aboard. Anybody ever written this on a stagecoach? Anybody what? You ever ridden on a stagecoach? No. <clears throat> Never? I did one time. Knott's Berry Farm. Did you oh, like yeah. it? Yeah. It was just a coach. <laughs> it was just a big thing with a horse pulling it. I don't know. Farm, right? yeah, it was a big carriage with a horse pulling it. Right. right. I was hoping the po po horse would like poop in your face <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next movie is Tell the Clouds Roll By. Tell the Clouds Roll By. 
and the clouds roll by. It's got lots of people in it. It's got June Allison, Lucille Brimmer, Judy Garland, Catherine Grayson, Van Heflin, Lena Horn. It's a lot of people, I know. Well, Van hey. Johnson, Angela, Angela Lansbury. Oh, yeah. She's still acting. Yeah. yeah. And she's still acting. And she's in, uh, she's in um, James Bond movies now, right? I think she is, maybe. Tony Martin, Virginia O'Brien, Dina Shore, Frank Sinatra, and Robert Walker. Ooh. Well, hey. I don't even know what this is about. <clears throat> it's a wonderful, splashy musical made in the grand old Hollywood tradition. This screenplay is a biography of the life and music of songwriter Jerome Kern. Many great performers, many great performances of his tunes, such as Angela Lansbury singing, How Do You Like to Spoon With Me? <laughs> How Do You Like to Spoon With Me? <laughs> Lena, Ho Lena Horns, Why Was I Born? And Judy Garland's Look for the Silver Lining. Also in its, an outstanding mini production of Showboat. Music lovers will find this a Incredibly grand cavalcade of stars, delightful. Made in 1946, so right after World War II. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. There are a lot of really good movies. I know, a lot. Okay, the next one is going to be. Maverick. Oh, yeah. Maverick. Oh, yeah. The Maverick boys are back for the greatest con of them all. So James Garner returns to the screen in his most memorable role as the new Maverick. When a trainload of Gatling guns is stolen and $25,000 reward is off offered, Maverick gets more than he bargained for. He's joined in the chase by his older brother, Bart, who's faking his own death to escape creditors and their smooth-talking cousin, Ben, who trades in his school books for a pair of six shoes. Every man for himself when Poker, when Poker Alice meets up with the Maverick. The Maverick boy is on a journey full of double crosses, cheap cons, and an ace up everyone's sleeve. So James Garner plays Maverick. It was a TV show for a long time, wasn't it? Yeah. The TV show. Then it, okay, they didn't even a movie. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Now. The Wild West. The Wild West. <clears throat> now we got the next movie, Bruce Lee and Strikes Back. We got Bruce Lee and Strikes Back. <laughs> Martial arts master Bruce Lee's sudden death has left his fans, students, and followers in stunned belief. When rumors began to spread that Lee left behind a record of secret technique, techniques, top fighters launched a worldwide search for the elusive and very valuable book. But to cut the coast of finding it, followers must not only investigate Lee's mysterious death for clues on its whereabouts, they must face a talented kung fu master who stop at nothing to protect Bruce's legacy. So Bruce Lee died, and then they made a movie about finding Bruce Lee's secret treasure. <laughs> I, didn't yeah, right. so, I had no idea this movie existed. China. Yeah, so they literally died, and they're like, let's make a movie of him dying and trying to find his buried treasure. They never found it. He never had a secret <laughs> book. <laughs> he swallowed it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, probably. Our next movie stars Ingrid, Berg Brit Ingrid Bergman. You know who she is? Yeah. You do. You used to have a crush on her, huh? No. <laughs> Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart. So those two together, you know what movie it is? Play it again soon. Casablanca. Casablanca. Well, hey. Casablanca, which is arguably one of the best movies ever made. I've seen oh, it a couple. Great. I've seen it a couple times. Some great lines. There. Yes, especially the very last line of the movie, which I can't think of right now. What was the very last line of the movie? Was, was something, darling, I don't hear again. again. Yeah. Again, of a, of a, of a something of a something. 
Frankly, darling, I don't give a damn. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they walk away into the fog. <clears throat> The time. It can always be good with bogey. Yep. The time. World War II. The place, Morocco. Seething with European refugees desperate for passage to neutral Lisbon, Lisbon, which is Spain. Mm -hmm. The film, Casablanca. The best Hollywood movie of all time. The, le the, uh, the legends loom larger as time goes by. In the 45th film of his career, tough guy Humphrey Bogart at last becomes a romantic leading man. He and a luminous Ingrid Bergen, Bergman portray former lovers briefly reunited in the chaos of war. They'll always have Paris and will always have an incomparable in on screen magic. Bogart is Rick, a world weary nightclub owner who claims, I stick my neck out for everybody. Bergman is Elsa, fleeing the Nazis with the resistance hero husband. Only Rick can help the pair escape, but he refuses until Elsa reawakens his idolism. This 50th anniversary edition of Casablanca has been restored and digitally remastered and includes a making of documentary narr narrated by Lauren Bacall, plus the original, original theoretical trailer. Nice. Here's looking at you, kid. That's it. That's the last line That's of the movie. Here's looking, at you. Here's looking at you, kid. That's it. <laughs> Which was actually ad libbed. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was ad libbed. Yeah. Those are some of the best lines in movies, are the ones that are ad libbed. Yeah. Just come off the top of somebody's head. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we got two more movies left. Second last one stars Antonio Banderas. It's called Pancho Villa. Golden Globe nominated Antonio Banderas stars in, in this incredible true story of how Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa allowed a Hollywood crew to film him in battle, altering the course of film and military history in the process. The adventure gets its start when early movie with when early movie giants E.W. Griffin and Harry Aikman send a junior executive Frank Thayer to Mexico to persuade the cash strapped publicly a uh, cash strapped publicity hungry villa via to let them film his revolution. Stepping into the to literal crossfire, Thayer's crew risk their lives in the mingling of fiction and reality. After a string of dangerous exploits, never escapes and double crosses worthy of a silent action short, Thayer and Villa Villa make their movie, and the life of General Villa is released in the U.S. to popular acclaim. The film changes the public opinion in Villa's, fa Villa's favor, favor and proves that the lens is mightier than the sword. I didn't even know that. Well, apparently, they filmed his his actual revolution and actual war, and it turned people to actually like Pancho Villa and actually help him in what he was fighting for. Interesting. What was he fighting for? Freedom. What does that mean? From the Spanish oppressors. Oh. Went to Mexico to be a free, uh, free country. I see. Yeah. He did a good job. He did. All right. And our last movie of the day stars Tom Hanks. Okay, it is Apollo 13. That's a good one. Yeah. Now, Apollo 13, That's a yeah, if you remember, it's, it was a space shuttle, not space shuttle, but the space for NASA sent off um, Apollo 13, which is supposed to be the 13th mission to the moon. And it took off on Friday the 13th. And about halfway to the moon, the spacecraft pretty much broke. <laughs> yeah. And they had no power, no nothing, and they couldn't go on the moon. So they had to figure out how to slingshot around the moon to bring the crew back. And it's interesting because the computer system that they have on board 
they had on board those shuttles at that time, those spacecraft at that time, uh, your calculator, like a small calculator you get at Safeway, has more memory than that whole computer had. How crazy is that? Exactly. They had to MacGyver their way home in space. That's hard to do. Here's a piece of gum and a toothpick. Hey, yeah, right. Fly the ship home. Here you go. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, Apollo 13. Yeah, instead of stranded out there. Yep, it's been less than a year since man first walked on the moon. But as far as the American public was concerned, Apollo 13 was just another routine flight. Until these words pierced the immense voice of space. Houston, we have a problem. Ron Howard directs Academy Award winner Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton, Gary Sinise, Ed Harris, and Kathleen Quinlan, Quinlan in, a, in a riveting suspense thriller from Imagine Entertainment. Stranded 205,000 miles from Earth in a crippled spaceship, astronauts Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert, or Swigert fight a desperate battle to survive. Meanwhile, at Mission Control, astronaut Ken Mattingly, flight director Gene Kratz, and a heroic ground crew race against time and the odds to bring them home. It's a breathtaking adventure that tells a story of courage, faith, and ingenuity that is all the more remarkable because it is true. It is true. It's a very good movie. Get Apollo 13. Yep. All right. Again, my name is Diallo. Thank you for joining me today for DVDs and Moves with D. We'll have more activities for you next time. Have a great day. Thank you. Ole. Ole. We got some music up next, though.